Welcome back to Technomancy, everybody. Uh, last time we left off, did I talk about making jetpacks? Or did I already have them? I don't know, but I upgraded our jetpack a lot. I'm talking about a lot. Look at this. It may look like it doesn't have that much energy, but look. It has 2 million it can store. 2 million RF. I don't know what RF is. Uh, that's a lot. And uh, in this episode, maybe we'll actually go into the nether. Am I right? So yes, yes. All right. Um... Let me, let me put a bunch of stuff away here. Oh, it's on my inventory. I've been working on some things. And, uh, we'll, we'll see those things. Hopefully, we'll see those things. Depends if the nether wants to work. And I'm gonna hope that it wants to work. And, uh, main enchantment table area. Whoa, we'll save the jetpack for now. Oh, yeah, so this, this... No, oh, I never want to make this shit again. Like, look how long... Look how long it takes to make. You gotta make this, and then you gotta make this. And don't get me started on these things. Oh, my God, you see that? It took me at least, uh, let's say, uh, an hour, maybe more than that, to make all of it. And, uh, here's my little enchantment table area. I want to do a little overgrown area. Maybe I should have a slab going up. A couple slabs here. Yeah, I wanted to make it, like, overgrown, and you can use, uh, the chisel enchantment tables, which is really cool, to, uh, get levels. And, uh, got the leaves here. We're using a bunch of carpenter's blocks. We're using slopes. We're using... Well, I didn't want to use, uh... I didn't want to cut them up with the saw. I didn't want to use micro blocks because it looks ugly. And, uh, yeah, we just have a little overgrown feeling. And that's how I feel like when uh, I see enchantment tables. I'm like, these are, they're magical things. So you want to have, like, a sort of overgrown magical area. Well, I think magical, I think overgrown. Fucking autonomous activator. Attacking me. We got a lot of iron in here. That's good. That's a good thing. Uh, but, yeah, let's check out this house before I head into the nether. So I'm going to start making little NPC villages. Sort of what Etho's doing in his single player series. Because I want to have my Minecraft populated. And uh, I really like what this is going for. The NPC village thing. Uh, especially custom NPCs. I like the little it's sort of nature feel. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this. But my favorite type of building is like overgrown building. As in like uh, let's say swamps. Like overgrown swamps. Sort of what I had going on here. Uh, maybe a little bit on, more on the vine side. But yeah, I reset the nether. So hopefully we won't crash when we go in. I'm praying. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. I don't really like the nether anyways. I don't know what's going on with the nether. It just, it doesn't want to generate. So I kind of give up on the nether. But I had a backup plan for this episode. I had in a little mod called the Archimedes Ship Mod. And uh, I've been gathering a lot of wool and a lot of string. I've been pulverizing string. Have I been pulverizing? I don't even know if I have pulverizer, but I know I had a, like a whole stack of string. And uh, here it is right here. A blimp. That is right. It's not a blimp, this is an air balloon. I named it Blimp Adventure Blimp. Can we rename this Adventure Air Balloon? It just makes more sense. Let's put balloons on here now. I don't care. Alright, uh, let's mount ship. Oh, that's all we had to do. We didn't even need to assemble it, right? Am I right? How do I ascent? X. Bam, so we're gonna go on some adventures with this baby right here. Uh, it didn't take too long to build. Let's go, let's go this direction. Yeah, let's go this direction. I took out the maze mod. Did I talk about that? I'm pretty sure I talked about that. Yeah, I took out the maze mod because it was like pure fucking garbage and I hated it. Is this the fastest this thing goes? This doesn't go that fast. Probably go faster on foot now that I think about it. But, uh, ooh. Gotta watch out for this tower here. You don't wanna get hit by this tower. I really like this mod. That's very cool. Maybe I should have got some passenger seats. Can you sit in a passenger seat? I don't know. But yeah, let's just cruise on through. I, I guess we're gaining some momentum here. Uh, what's that? Is that a, is that a tavern? No, it's not a tavern. We got our torches here. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I like the Archimedes ship mod. It's cool. It's one of my first times using it. I did not use it, like, at all in B-Team. Sadly, I should have. Should have got some uses out of it. But yeah, let's head in this direction see what we can find. Ooh, we're, hitting, we're hitting the floor a little bit here. Is this another village we found over here? What is over here? Is this a lakeside village? I can't. Yeah, it's a lakeside village. It's up all these swamps everywhere, man. I'm kind of tired of these swamps. All right, let's just yeah, let's keep going this direction. See if we can find anything interesting. I wanted to also add in the uh, the flowing rivers mod or streams mod, whatever it's called, uh, because that mod is pretty cool. It adds in a lot of nice looking terrain i'm not really flying right now the game kind of froze i'm kind of scared to fly around and, uh, that's, that's why that's why not that's why i won't 
That's why I want. Let's take a look at our entity account. Just gonna, take, just gonna keep my eye on that. Because the swamps aren't the friendliest of like, oh, we can go to a ruin like this. Oh, let's go to it. Let's go to it. Let us go. Alright, let's uh, dock like right here. Gotta make sure. Hey, dock this right. Don't go in that path. Dock this right. How do I uh, disassemble? Grave? Grave. It's not grave. It's not grave. What is it? What is it? Is it slash? Don't tell me it's uh, my fucking recording key. Archimedes, Archimedes, Archimedes. Where's Archimedes? Archimedes. It is. This assemble is backslash. That's not good. Can we change that to comma? Oh, we can't. No way. Comma works? Can't disassemble here. Um, can we. How do we descent? See? Why? Nope, nope, nope. Descent is Z. Alright, can we disassemble? Disassemble. All the way down. Go all the way down. Go all the way down. I can't go any more. I can't go farther down. How go? Why? Right, let's, let's turn it this way. Let's turn it this way. Maybe it's like, needs a preference here. Now we can. Nope. Now we can. Okay. Alright, fine. It, we're going on top of the room. We're going on top of it. Let's just squeeze through. We're not exactly squeezing through. Come on, get get past that. Get past that. There we go. Holy shit, that, that was kind of that was really hard to get past that. What is it, X to go up? All right, go up. Oh, can we disassemble here? Come on, this is open. Come on, this is open. I see. There we go. Nice, nice. And we got a bunch of seeds. Oh, so useless. Okay, um, let's head up here. Oh, we got a real sapling. That would be nice to have. Let's, uh... Should we break into the side? No, we're breaking through the top. Top is the strategic way. Yeah, here it is right here. Spawner! Oh, it's a witch spawner, too. Is there supposed to be something else that spawns in here? I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be something else that spawns inside. Oh, division sigil. And two diamonds. Nice. Check this out, though. Division sigil. Inactive. You must perform activation ritual. Sneak right-click on an enchanting table for more details. Uh, shift right-click on an enchanting table. But as you see here... Number of uses, number of uses remaining. This strange mystical item cannot be crafted, but is found in dungeon chests. However, in its raw state, it is useless to you and needs to be activated. Hold up. <clears throat> this can only be done by ancient and strange method called the activation ritual. One of the sigil to, one of the sigil is to unchant. Right, I'm trying to turn to hurt my brain here. See, I'm stupid, or that was like not written correctly. One of the sigil. Was it one of the sigils? I don't know. I don't really want to attempt to know either. I'm, I'm okay with not uh, completely knowing. Can we just, can we just mount, mount shit. Mount shit. All right, let's go. Did we grab a piece of land? No, okay, thank God for that. Thank God, all right. Uh, it probably would have been easier just going up to, just taking out my jetpack and like flying up to one. But who wants to do that? That's too easy. That's too damn easy. I don't really need to mine on the overworld unless there's like a specific ore I can't find. Because uh, we got the miner's dimension and that, that helps a lot. Alright, so this thing doesn't like go wherever I look. Alright, that's a really good thing then. So that means I can press forward and also just look around a little bit. And uh, see what we can find. Alright, let's head back. Let's head back to our place. Hey, hold on. Can I go all the way up? No, let's go up. Go up. Let's go straight up. Is there a tower going at the top of this one? I'll snipe him. I'll snipe him. I'll try and snipe him. Oh, is there actually not one up here? Yo, if there's not one up here, I'll take the loot. I'll take the loot. I know it's rare for one not to spawn. I don't see one. I don't see one. Oh, I don't see one. Yeah. Rip. <laughs> Bullshit. I mean, there's a bunch of chest here, and there's also half of this tower missing. And uh, I kind of like this. Kind of nice. You just get all the stuff that's uh, useful for me. Some free TNT just lying around. I mean, there's some leather lying around in here too. You know, might as well get all the good free stuff. Bread. I'll take the bread and the leather. You can keep that shit. Uh, but yeah, we can go get some free loot thanks to uh, that tower com being completely gone. I got a scout message. All right. Uh, let's just check. 
One or two more chests. Okay, all right, let's head up. Let's head up and get some free loot. Yeah, I'm not used to flying without getting kicked from servers. Talking about steam powered here. I usually get kicked from steam powered if I fly with jetpack. It's for some reason, I couldn't enable flying on the server. All right, you guys, you chill out. You, you spawners, chill out, all right? Ender IO will have a use for you guys in the future. Make us some automatic farms. Okay, I don't need any of that stuff, any of those things. Get that lever out of here. Can I check down here real fast? Oh, chainmail. Chainmail. It's really easy to make. I don't really need it anymore. Alright, let's uh, fly. Let's get back into our ship. And they'll let us fly off. Okay, here we go. Take off our jetpack. Switch those out. Um, should we? Let's get rid of the, the spider spawner. I don't need cave spiders. Alright, let us. I don't. The steam engine, apparently, I don't need to use. Uh, and I'm okay with that. Alright, which one's our home? That direction. 300 blocks, and we shall take off back towards home. We'll catch some momentum here in a bit. And uh, I'll talk about some things before we end off this episode. Which I think this episode's kind of short. My bad. Okay, so what is our plan right now, you guys might be asking. Um, no. Uh, I do kind of have a clue. I think, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, there's a bunch of mods in here, and I add in a couple more mods. And uh, that gives us a lot more uh, things to do. I added in this like tools done right mod, which is kind of cool. Uh, we can make that, and oh yeah, we'll make this soon because that's actually really cool. We can find some end stone somewhere. I know we can find some end stone somewhere. We can find some end stone, right? We can make end stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can make end stone. Look at that. That's easy. We just need a fluid transposer, which we do have one. Uh, but yeah, we're slowly gonna work through some things here. Um. I want to go to the nether like really badly because there's some things I want to do there but I can't I can't go there if it just crashes every time so instead what we're doing we're gonna make our way towards our first adventure and I'll show you what our first adventure is gonna be our first big adventure we kind of went on like a miniature adventure today uh, not today in this episode I guess today I guess it doesn't really matter Will it go in there? Uh, still diamonds is iron that shit away we don't need to be carrying around all this. Okay, uh, let's do this. We're gonna take all the cobblestone out. This chest here. I'll get the recipe for this. And, uh, we'll do this. Where's this crafting table? In the crafting table. We're gonna be making something out of all this cobblestone. This cobblestone does not, is not just useless. Don't worry. It's not useless. I can, I can tell you that right now. 100% say. None of this cobblestone is useless. It's all going to a cause, a good cause. You guys will see this cause sooner or later, and uh, kind of leads up to our next adventure. So yes, you will actually be seeing a use out of all this cobblestone. Uh, and that's good. That's good. That's very good, man. Because this this will be an adventure to tell to your children. Tell tell your children about this adventure, okay? Let's get all of this, and uh, let's do all the use. All right. So, take a look at this. I think we gotta we can make bedrock even, which is not really that useful. But yeah, we gotta make this right here: quadruple compressed cobblestone. Now, as you see the use here, I'm trying to make a portal to the deep dark. Someone honked a horn outside, which it messed up my effect. I'm trying to go for some epic there, but uh, we also got to make a quintuple one, which is five. Quintuple is five. Uh, I think it is. I hope it is. Is it? Qu is quintuple five? No, quintuple is not five. Yeah, it is five. Never mind. I don't. I don't know. I'm just speaking out loud right now. What's after quintuple? Like? Sextuple. All right. Never mind. I don't know what quintuple actually is. But yeah. So once we make all that quadruple stuff and make that, it's actually really hard to make the thing. Then, we, our adventure will begin. And, uh, we gotta prep some more stuff for it. And we're gonna have episodes, obviously, prepping for that stuff. And we'll have many adventures in between all the episodes. Hey, I actually have micro box for these things now. I don't know, they just popped out all of a sudden. I updated Chisel and they just popped out. They're like, hey, we're here. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Technomancy. Uh, today was a little fuck around episode because Nether still doesn't work. I'll figure something out. I might have to take out some mods, sadly. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Technomancy. I don't know what we're gonna do in the next episode. Bye.